Hello everyone. In this workshop, I am going to orient the model on the origin, number one. And number two is that I want to orient the model so that we can have the proper inlets and outlets for the shell and the tube. And this is the shell and tube heat exchanger. And as you can see that we have, this is the shell part. And this part is the tube part, part where we have the cold fluid. In the shell part, we have the hot steam that will condense to the liquid form, which is common in the power plants. And here we have the thickness for this tube, which will serve as the third part or the body as a solid body. So the heat will conduct from the steam in the shell part to the this uh, part, which is solid here. And then this will heat will be carried away by the fluid, which is flowing inside the tube side. And now there are the two things we want to uh, achieve. One is that uh, we should have the proper orientation for the shell and the tube. And for the shell is very important because the steam uh, being lighter in the, in the is, uh, density, it should flow naturally from the upward direction to the downward direction. Otherwise we have to imply the maybe the two phase type of the pumps which are not very common and uh, they will have some problems again. And I will not go into discussion about those things about the pumps, the two phase. So let's say if I set the direction of flow in this way, in the positive y axis. And uh, so might be we can, number one is, is that we can put the, the stream from here and the cold water from the this tube side from on this side. This is the one way. And uh, if this is the way we want, the shell should be on this side, inlet should be on this side. And uh, there should be, this is the inlet for the tube side. In this case, we want to keep the Z direction in the positive way. So this is the one thing that we can move it upwards. And uh, so in that case, uh, either you can put the boundary condition as a minus value for the flow rate or the, or the velocity. This is a one way, this is a one way solution. Or you can also move this geometry in the upper direction and you can put the inlet for the shell on this side. Or this will also again make the things wrong. So the thing is that we can make the geometry in this way. Right? And uh, so just if you put the inlet for the tube from this side, this will be correct for the shell on this side. Or you can make the things in this way that you can select the, all the bodies and uh, use the move command and just put the, this geometry, this uh, part here. And uh, I want to just make it this body on the this side. So I rotate by the 180 degrees, put the value and press the enter key. So one thing. So this is going to be the my shell inlet and this will be the outlet for the shell. This is going to be the inlet for the tube and this is going to be the outlet for the tube. And the second thing I'm going to make is that I want to make this point, this, this geometry at just at the 0, 0, 0 for X, Y and Z respectively. So it means in simple words, I want to put the origin on this face. So for that, I have to make the one point on this plane so go to sketching mode and click on the plane view and uh, from the sketching menu we have the point option just press a point on the origin that's all and then and the sketching addition editing by the clicking on this uh, tick mark green tick mark and we will go back to the solid view and now we have this uh, point here on the geometry you can see here and just place the origin on this point. Alright. So this point will serve the purpose of orienting the geometry just on the 0, 0. Uh, although it will not make it by itself, but this will make a reference to the, the actual dimensions of the X, Y, Z. And uh, the, all the body, the real body, the physical body, they will move by that distance. So the trick is that select all bodies and then click on the move command and uh, take this uh, triad over on this point where we have placed the origin and uh, right click on this box here and click on the x, y, v. So you can see that the x and z they are zero. 
so there no need to move them in the x or y other the direction only thing is that is that just put the value 0 for the y direction and since uh, if you don't select the bodies this will only move the origin to the 0 direction to the 0 value of x y and z but if you select all the bodies this will move the all the bodies along with the origin and this move command will, will serve the purpose and simply now click on the enter key and apply selection so and just click on the this command here and uh, now to be sure about this thing I will just click on the this uh, origin point for the XYZ and you can see that the on the bottom side of the space claim you can see that we have the dimension as x0 y0 z0 this is all about how we can deal with the geometry orientation in the space claim and this is true for any model you can just apply this trick and this will move the things very quickly in the space claim thank you for watching and stay tuned for the next video